The gentleman yields back for what purposes of Mr. Ross seek recognition. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I move to strike the last word. General ladies recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. I'd like to express my full support for this bill, which addresses the critical threat facing our nation, a rise of domestic terrorism. While the issue of domestic terrorism is not new in the United States, we've recently seen an alarming increase in acts of extremist violence. In particular, the terrifying attack on the Capitol on January 6th. The events of January 6th constituted an attempt to stop a peaceful transfer of power, an assault on our fellow Americans, and an overt harm democratically elected public servants, and a rebuke of our nation's most fundamental values. Memories of the violence, chaos, and fear incited on January 6th will linger in these halls for years to come. Unfortunately, the events of January 6th mirror a moment in history in my home state of North Carolina, the Wilmington insurrection of 1898. Like the January 6th insurrection, the Wilmington insurrection was carried out by white supremacists intent on overthrowing a duly elected government. These domestic terrorists destroyed businesses, killed residents, and eventually succeeded in forcing Wilmington's government to step down. Our country should not be facing the same time, same type of domestic terrorism today that we faced in 1898. It is long past time for us to recognize that some of the greatest threats to our nation come from within our borders, from dangerous ideologies that spur violence and hate. In the past few months, these ideologies have taken another form. At least a dozen historically black college and student universities across the country and some in North Carolina have received bomb threats. While no bombs have been discovered following any of the recent threats, they forced the cancellation of classes, the evacuation of entire campuses, the disrupting of students' ability to learn and feel safe in their schools. In addition to HBCUs, Synagogues in my district and throughout the country have received threats of violence over the past few years, as have churches. These threats have forced the cancellation of religious classes, programming, and shaken faith leaders and their congregants in my district and throughout the country. Unfortunately, acts or threats of domestic terrorism can no longer be considered rare occurrences. It is now more important than ever that we pass legislation to strengthen efforts to prevent, report on, respond to, and investigate acts of domestic terrorism. I support this bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. 